Is that something you're excited about or nervous about? Well, I'm, I'm just excited. Um, I lost the weight. That's the first goal we have. Me and Coach Weber. Uh, you dropped probably 10 or 12 pounds in yeah. the season. So it's just just losing weight. and just, just, That was the first goal me and Coach Weber set, then getting the body toned and everything. So it's just going out and playing and competing and showing that you can compete with the best. So that's the challenge I'm going to have against playing with guys like Taylor Battle, Kaden Lucas, Kyle Nolan, and players like that in the league. Uh, so what are we going to see different from you on the court? I mean, obviously your game's got to change a little bit because you're going to be defending these point guards too. Yes. Um, are you going to be a lot more of a passing guy this year? Or, is it going to affect your shot? So yeah, just, that's really what I, I'm, I'm thinking. Is it, it, it all depends on how the game situation goes. I'm not going to the game like I'm going to take 20 shots or try to get 20 points. Well, we have a lot of scores here and a lot of different um, unique skills and everything. So if I, one game... By getting in the lane and dishing it to Tisdale, the key hot, Mike Davis. So it, it just all depends on how the game rolls around. I don't have no set. I'm going to take 20 shots, 20 points. I don't have none of that set. Uh, one of the things the number of countries that broke out last year about you when you made your first shot. And again, yeah. you scored yeah, about 14, 15 yeah. points a game, but when you missed it, uh, the numbers were significantly lower. So is that consistency something you've been trying to work on? Oh, yeah, most definitely. That's why um, every night I was here in the summertime shooting shots and um, just not just shooting and attempting, just making. I had to make 500 before I leave every night. So it's just being a better basketball player and, and making yourself better. Is that something when you hear a statistic like that? And I mean, I know that there's numbers, but when you hear something like that, is that something getting in your head or... Oh no, I don't. I don't read the newspaper or anything like that, magazines at all. So I just play basketball. So people be like, "Well, you on the cover of this? And you hear about this? And they talking to you about that?" I'm like, "Huh, for real?" And then I'm like, "Well, you can send it to my mom, or something like that." So it's more, it's more a fans thing than anything. As far as players, I just play basketball. That's what I'm here for, and helping me get a degree. So that's what I'm doing. Do you think it's harder to do it this day and age with Twitter and Facebook and all the information oh, out there all the time? Because everybody have an opportunity to get to you faster these days and be more in your personal life than everything else with Twitter and Facebook. But you find it easy to block out the like the NBA mock drafts and NBA uh, stock reports, yeah, that type of thing? Yeah, that's really easy. I don't go on mock drafts. That's just somebody's opinion anyway as far as GMs and different people because people probably had certain people in the draft last year going higher and that they get picked or made it to late second round that should have, should have been first. So things like that you can't you can't play with. It's, it, it's only in the NBA guy's hand that knows. Now last year, uh, so I'm thinking specifically of the Chicago game, uh, you mentioned that your brother was pointing out things in your game, your little brother. Uh, is there anything new he's seen in, in watching you play that he's pointed out? Or? <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's always pick out the bad thing. He probably won't tell you one single good thing about your game. <laughs> Especially if you're playing one on one and trying to compete, he'll never tell you some good aspects. But he just he just been real help as far as seeing the game differently it's, since he's been out a whole year. And now he just sit back and watch the game and have a different perspective on sure. things. So he he sees it and calls it out every time. How about your friend Derek Rose? Have you kept up with him? Lately? Oh yeah, he he's been out in on California most of the time, staying in the good hot weather. So. He's, he's getting ready for the season, and he's gonna, I believe he's going to have a breakout season better than the status himself as a superstar, just, just as a good player. Is he kind of the guard in the league that you look up to, or is there one? Uh, I, I would try to um, look up to Brandon Davis and Dan Williams, two big body guards that can do everything, defend, shoot, rebound, and just tough. Nails. That's funny because I talked to Derrick Rose yesterday, and he said, I asked him the same question. He said Darren Williams was his yeah. guy. So yeah, so it's just just two point guards that like to play basketball. And growing up in Chicago, you know certain people have the same direct type players and want to be just like their role models. Is it that physical that combination of physicality and speed that uh, that draws you to them, or uh, uh, most definitely just just how they approach the game, the killer instinct, and and have Darren could go in one day, score 32, 36, and the next day have 17 to 6. So it's just been, been an all-around player. Well, that's going to sort of be actually what you're going to have to do this year because from game to game, your role as a point guard is going to really change. Oh, most, no, definitely. Some games I probably had the best defender on me and I have to pass or take my time and make the right decision. It might be games where I have to go out and probably have to score 30 or more to get a, to get a W. So it's, Whatever we have to do as far as making it, making sure we win basketball games. What does the term being a floor general mean to you? 
Uh, it's just making sure your team wins. And floor general is somebody that makes sure you make the right plays, no matter if it's scoring or assisting or even even running off a screen hard just to get another person open or screening somebody. So the floor general just makes sure he, he's a coach on the floor. Thank you. All right, thanks, Steve.